And last but not least, I'd like to invite Eric Dodds from Offsite to come up. Uh, some of you may recognize Eric and some of the team members he'll describe from their exploits as the Iron Yard. So we're excited to hear what they're up to now with Offsite. Thanks, Matt. All right, anyone who's been in business knows that when you're trying to acquire customers, part of what you have to do is find the perfect audience. It's the audience that wants to use your product and is willing to pay you money for it. So I'm gonna talk briefly about my journey trying to find that perfect audience at our last business, the Iron Yard, which we sold to a publicly traded company. There are tons of advertising platforms out there, and each of them have their own targeting parameters. Me and my growth team at the Iron Yard worked tirelessly to try to fine tune the audience targeting so that we could find our ideal customer. And one of the things we learned is a conclusion that a lot of businesses come to, and that's that our own website visitors were probably our most highly qualified audience. That's a really logical conclusion. One of the most effective tools that we found for reaching that audience was called retargeting. We've all experienced this. You visit a website somewhere on the web, you leave and you go to other websites and ads from the original website start to follow you around. It's very common and we've all experienced it. It's a go-to tool for digital advertisers because it's extremely effective. You can get up to 10 times higher click-through rates with retargeting than you can with other forms of display advertising, which is why it's so pervasive. The big challenge, though, is that you can only retarget your own website audience. And anyone who tries to grow a web audience knows it's a very long game. You can't double or triple your website traffic overnight and still maintain quality. So I sat down with my team and said, what can we do to find a much larger audience that is as close to the profile of our website visitors as possible? So we looked a little bit further up the funnel and we found these review sites. These were independent third-party sites where people who were interested in purchasing a product like ours could go, read reviews, and try to decide which product they wanted to purchase. It was our perfect audience. It was way larger than our website audience, but it was people who knew about the product and had high intent to purchase. The issue that we faced was that it was actually kind of hard to reach that audience through the website. They allowed us to pay to show up higher in the search results with sponsored listings, and we could also do sponsored content on the blog. But we wanted more. This was a really, really valuable audience to us. So I sat down with my team and said, if we could do anything to reach this audience, what would we do? What we ended up saying was we would love to leverage the higher click-through rate and ROI from retargeting, but instead of doing that with our own audience, we would love to do that with this larger audience on the review site that was really highly qualified. The big challenge is that this was extremely difficult from a technical standpoint on the Google platform. And as we dug more and more into this problem, we discovered that this is a pervasive issue in the advertising industry. There are hundreds of thousands of audiences out there that advertisers want to access, but it's extremely difficult technically if the audience owner does not want to sell their customer data. With GDPR and other regulations, most of them don't. So over the last six to eight months, we've been building a product that solves this problem. It's called Offsite, and it allows this transaction to happen. A website owner can securely share their audience with our platform, allow a third-party advertiser to access it, and distribute display ads off-site through the Google Display Network. All of it's fully secure because all of the data lives within Google's platform, so we have no concerns around GDPR because our platform doesn't touch any customer data at all. This is a gigantic market. Digital advertising alone is a hundred, a hundred billion dollar market and growing year after year. We think the total addressable size for this market is about $30 billion. How do we make money? The advertiser spends money on the platform in two ways. They pay a monthly access fee to the audience owner. We take a percentage of that because it's found revenue for the audience owner. They'll also deploy ad spend through the platform that we deliver to Google Ads via their API, and we'll take a percentage of that ad spend as well. So we make money from both sides. We have name brand beta users already on the platform who are extremely excited to use it. We'll get 50 customers in the first year. Uh, that'll get us to about a million dollars in ARR and the business scales really nicely from there. 
Our team is world class. Uh, we have serially successful entrepreneurs on the team, but also deep experience in the digital advertising space, so we know the customer really well. We're raising a round that Venture South is leading, and I really thank you for your time today and coming out.